Anybody have any children, beat your children. Go home, wake them up, beat them. They have done something you don't know about. You do not have to reason with a child. You are the parent, and what you say goes. White people, quit making deals with your kids. You understand what I'm saying? You do not have to make a deal with a child. My mom used to make a deal. She said, buddy, cut the front yard. When you get through, don't forget the back. And that's the motherfucking deal. Y'all got to get back to start threatening your kids before you go anywhere. My mom used to threaten me before we go anywhere. She used to tell me, she said, Bruce, we going to Kmart and don't ask me for shit. <laughs> Nigga, I got in Kmart one time. I saw a fire truck I wanted so bad. I wanted that motherfucker. You know how you be looking? I want that fire truck right there. I want that goddamn fire truck. I want that fire truck. Goddamn fire truck. My dad came around the corner. You see something you want? He's like, what is it? He said, that fat truck? I said, yeah, but mama told me no ass up for shit. My daddy said, well, damn, you trying to get us both fucked up. <laughs> Beat your children. And one thing about kids, kids got questions and parents, you got to have an answer. And do not tell your kids anything to get them out your face because kids don't forget nothing. So make sure you tell them the truth the first time because they're going to hit you with the same question down the line to see if they're going to get the same answer. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, don't be like my uncle. Mark used to tell me anything just to get me out of his face. You know what I'm talking about? Let me tell you this. I was with my uncle one time. I was seven years old. He was sitting, we were sitting in the car waiting on my aunt to come out of the grocery store. I saw a person I had never seen before in my life. My uncle reading the newspaper. I told my uncle, I said, hey. He said, what? I said, I just seen a little bitty boy man. He said, what? I said, I just seen a little bitty boy man. He said, what the fuck is a little bitty boy man? I said, there he is, he coming out the store right now. My uncle said, man, that's a midget. I said, where they come from? This man said, shout dicks. <laughs> so watch what you tell your children. And on the same token, you got to get an understanding with your kids so when it's time of trouble, they'll come to you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, my kids and I are real, real cool. Let me tell you, my 14-year-old son asked me the other day, because we cool. He said, hey, Dad, can I ask you something? I said, yeah, man, what's up? He said, man, it's been on my mind. I said, what is it? He said, man, don't you hate when you sit down and use the bathroom and your thing fall in the water? I said, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw you standing here telling me your dick in the water. <sighs> Nigga, my dick ain't even touching the toilet seat. I looked him straight in the eye. I said, boy, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> son, dick bigger than mine. That can't be my real son, could it, man? I know, because they don't make dicks like that no more. My granddad had a dick this long, you know what I mean? You know how old men had to take a bath? And you had to give him a bath? Y'all remember that? My granddad took off his clothes. We thought we were retarded. My granddad, what the hell wrong with you? We had to put a dick in the tub first. <laughs> he said in the tub, yeah, everybody used to knock him down with that motherfucker. I'm like, damn, granddad, you die, can I have that mother? I don't want no money on that. Let me get that dick off your playoff. <laughs>